Hello and welcome to this edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Murray. And I'm David Jones. You know, spring, just a couple of weeks away. Time to get started on some spring cleaning. And not just spring cleaning, but how about some spring projects to make sure the household is running smooth and have it looking its best. That's right. We got you covered on today's show, starting down in the basement and working right out into the yard. A well-oiled machine, literally, as you'll see. That's right. And speaking of yards, we have some advice and some tips on how to make your backyard a beautiful green oasis. That and a lot more. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. All right, time now for landscaping. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Well, we took the first steps in creating a green oasis, you know, to bond with nature. With summer not far off, it's time to think about your yard, your lawn, your landscaping, your gardening plans. To help you create your oasis, you're gonna need some helpful supplies to get the ball rolling and let nature take its course. Today, we're the homeowners, Laura and Eric, and we're gonna help them create their own green sanctuary. So, are you guys ready? We're ready. So tell me, what kind of ideas do you have for the yard? Michelle, we'd like to improve the lawn. We'd like to eliminate the bald spots, the yellow spots. We're looking for a more greener, fuller, vibrant lawn. What about you? Well, I'm a gardener. I have a vegetable garden, but I've been having a lot of problems with bugs this year, particularly ants. Mm -hmm. And I think I'd also like to um, bring a little bit more of a cheerful feeling to the yard, but still relaxing. Well, it sounds like you both definitely have a vision, and we do have an expert with us today, so why don't we get going and see what he has to say. I'm here today with Kevin Smith from Central Garden and Pet, who brought along a few supplies to help us create, beautify, and protect our yard. Welcome to Designing Spaces, Kevin. Thanks, Michelle. It's great to be here. Glad to have you. So tell us, what are we going to start with today? I think we should start with the lawn. It's sort of the backdrop that everything else revolves around. So let's make sure the lawn is nice and green before we get started. That makes sense, and it sounds great. Okay. So let's do it. Let's do it. So Kevin, tell me, how do we keep our lawn healthy? Well, it's really good to start with the basics, and that's a good quality grass seed. Because if you don't start with a really good quality grass seed, you're probably not going to be happy with the results you have later. So I brought something with me today to show you. It's Pennington Smart Seed, and it is the latest technology in grass seed. And I bet you didn't know there was technology in grass seed. I know that. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, and what it is, we've got plant breeders who are actually selecting different varieties of grass to make it better than the last generation. And when I say better, I mean better drought tolerance, better disease and insect resistance, even finer blade texture so it's soft to walk on, and better color. So all of that is in this bag. Plus, it has another advantage. It's called the myco advantage. And the myco advantage makes stronger roots and able to absorb nutrients more efficiently, including water, which will be good for you because you can save up to 30% on the amount of water that you have to put on your lawn. So I brought a product with me today called Ironite, and it's a mineral supplement, different than fertilizing. It's got nine minerals plus iron, and iron is really good for greening up your lawn. If you see your lawn turning a little bit yellow, uh, a light green, you don't like the looks of that, Ironite is a really good product to apply. This is a beautiful garden, huh? It's a great garden. You've done a good job. Thank you. We need to protect it though, you know? I mean, you don't want anything to invade this garden that's going to eat the harvest that you're working so hard for. And you've got thousands of insects in this backyard that really want to harvest it before you do. So let's try to keep those out of there. I brought a product for you today that you're probably familiar with. It's Seven. Seven's been around forever. It's been around for generations. And the great thing about Seven is you don't have to be concerned about what insect do I have in my backyard? Because it covers such a broad array of insects. The really cool thing about Seven that's different than a lot of other insect control products is it's non-systemic. What it's saying is it's not going into the plant, 
it's staying on the outside of the plant. So this nice squash plant, you can protect it, just a light dusting of the seven over the top of the leaves. And then when the insects walk through it or try to take a bite out of it, they're done. So if you've got a pasta dish that you want to do, sprinkle it on your tomatoes and then right up to the point of harvest, you can wash that off and still be able to eat it. So I've got to caution you though, just like with any other insect control, make sure to read and follow the label. So while we're in the garden and we've protected our vegetable plants here with seven, what I'd like to do is protect the perimeter of your garden also. Now let me ask you a question. Do you know what the number one pest in the United States is? Anybody? Anybody? I guess. An yeah. ant, I guess. An ant, oh, exactly. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. yeah, you got that right. <laughs> so what we want to do is protect from the number one pest on the outside of this garden so that they don't become a problem inside your garden. So we can do that with this product called Amdro Ant Block. Now a lot of people know Amdro if they're from the southeast as a fire ant bait. This covers any type of ant, and it's really easy to use. All you're going to do is you're going to sprinkle around the perimeter of your garden, and it's going to have a nice wide band that's going to keep ants out. So my suggestion to you is, let's go to the perimeter of your house, sprinkle a band of protection against ants around the perimeter of your house with Amdro Ant Block. That's a great idea. Let's go do it. Well, Kevin, it seems that we obviously got the garden in order. It's looking beautiful. Yep. Now, what do you suggest for the yard? What do you think that we could do to really bring this garden to life? Let's put some feeders up in your backyard, all around your backyard. I think that's it'll a add idea. a lot of entertainment to your yard. I brought a Cedar Works feeder here. Oh, that's beautiful. It's made by the Amish here in the United States. It is a beautiful feeder. And the nice thing about cedar is you can put it up as a nature lover and feel good about it because cedar is being reforested faster than it's being harvested. So you're never going to run out of cedar. So let's fill one of these up. Let's fill several of them up.